Maurice Phillips, 38, of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, the leader of the Phillips Cocaine Organization, PCO, was sentenced today to life in prison for contracting his cousin to kill a federal witness, announced United States Attorney Michael L. Levy. Phillips was convicted earlier this month of all eight counts against him, which included the murder for hire of Chinita Glanville and the killing of her godson, Dane King, conspiracy to use interstate commerce facilities in the commission of murder for hire, use of interstate commerce facilities in the commission of murder for hire, conspiracy to distribute cocaine, engaging in a continuing criminal enterprise, conspiracy to commit money laundering, concealment of money laundering, and aiding and abetting. Between 1998 and 2007, Phillips ran PCO, a multi-state, multi-million dollar cocaine distribution organization which distributed cocaine throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. The PCO was trafficking multi-kilogram quantities of cocaine from Texas to the eastern seaboard via tractor-trailer and other vehicles. Phillips employed Chinita Glanville to help the organization launder its drug proceeds. In 2002, Maurice Phillips learned that Glanville was cooperating with a federal investigation into his organization and he hired his cousin, Bryant Phillips, charged elsewhere, to kill Glanville. Bryant Phillips went to Glanville's Windmoor, Pennsylvania home where he shot and killed her and her godson, Dane King. The PCO continued to distribute cocaine even after Glanville's murder. His two co-defendants at trial, David Garcia and Sherman Kemp, were each convicted of the single count against them of conspiracy to distribute cocaine, which carries a mandatory minimum of 10 years up to life imprisonment. Prior to trial, eight other defendants pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute cocaine and other offenses. Phillips was indicted in 2007 on drug trafficking, money laundering, and murder for hire charges. Ballard, a 38-year-old Baltimore man with Eastern Shore ties, has agreed to plead guilty to drug conspiracy charges in the PCO case, and in October in Maryland he pleaded guilty to drug distribution charges and participation in a Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration identity theft scam. After fleeing from a federal indictment in early 2007, Flight Connections, March 12, Sean Michael Green was arrested December 14 in Pennsylvania and taken to Maryland to face drug trafficking and money laundering charges. Aside from those charges, court records in other proceedings point to connections with an allegedly violent cocaine conspiracy under indictment in Pennsylvania involving associates of Green, who has hired New York criminal defense titan Robert Simmels as his lawyer. According to federal court documents, Green was a known narcotics trafficker in February 2006 when federal agents observed him in a Prince George's County parking lot with two men currently indicted in federal court in Philadelphia. Maurice Phillips and Anthony Ballard, leaders of the alleged Phillips Cocaine Organization, PCO. After the meeting, in which Phillips retrieved a black duffel bag from Green's car, agents stopped Ballard and seized more than $900,000 cash. Green's precise role in the PCO is unclear, and he has not been indicted in that case, but according to Assistant U.S. Attorney Linwood C. Wright Jr., in Philadelphia, you can match the overt acts of the Phillips indictment with the allegations against Green in Maryland and draw your own conclusions. In all, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Maryland says it has seized or forfeited five properties belonging to Green, Ballard, or Phillips, who owns real estate from New Jersey to North Carolina. Another Baltimore man charged in the PCO case, Sherman Kemp, featured in the Stop Fucking Snitching DVD, pleaded guilty in Maryland in July to drug conspiracy and was sentenced to 180 months in prison. Ramon Alvier, a Mexican drug dealer based in Texas, testified that he had provided Phillips with 1,400 to 1,600 kilograms of cocaine. Phillips was buying the kilos for $16,500 and selling them for $26,500. The math suggests that from that one dealer, Phillips generated $14 million in profit. The convicted drug kingpin's ex-girlfriend who testified against him during the murder trial has been sentenced to 12 years in prison. 37-year-old Chanel Cunningham was sentenced Tuesday on drug conspiracy and money laundering charges for her role the massive drug operation centered in the Philadelphia area.
Cunningham had pleaded guilty in March 2009 and agreed to testify against ex-boyfriend Maurice Phillips in a murder-for-hire trial. The Upper Marlboro, Maryland man was sentenced to five life terms last week for hiring a hit man to kill a government witness and running a $31 million multi-state cocaine operation. Cunningham testified that Phillips hired another man to kill federal witness Chinita Glanville, who was fatally shot along with her godson inside her Windmoor home in 2002. Wright says Phillips, who was eligible for the death penalty, made a lengthy statement at his sentencing in which he insisted he was innocent.